As the situation at the border continues to heat up this morning, Trump administration officials are defending the use of tear gas being deployed on migrants. Our ABC correspondent Lana Zak has the latest. President Trump campaigning in Mississippi disputed the impact of tear gas on migrant children. First of all, the tear gas is a very minor form of the tear gas itself. Uh, it's very safe. These are people, they call them grabbers. They grab a child because they think they're going to have a certain... Uh, they're going to have a certain status by having a child. And Secretary of Homeland Security Kirsten Nielsen said in a statement that the caravan members are mostly men. Quote, the limited number of women and children in the caravan are being used by the organizers as human shields. This is putting vulnerable people in harm's way. The administration now says there were 1,000 migrants who attempted to cross. 8,500 migrants camped in Tijuana. 600 convicted criminals. But there are undoubtedly some children in the crowd. This migrant traveling with her two-year-old son came from Honduras. And responding to the humanitarian crisis, Garrett Robinson, he brought children's books. Regardless of your political belief, whether you think people should go to the states or not through asylum or any other way, people need help. So I brought some children's books in Spanish. After Sunday's clash between U.S. Border Patrol and the migrants, ABC's Matt Gutman met with one man who said his injuries would not deter him. Now, one of the things that he says is that he's not going to stop. He wants to still get into the United States, and he's not going to quit now just because he was wounded. It could take months to process these requests for asylum, and Secretary Nielsen says historically less than 10% of these claims are ever approved. Lana Zak, ABC News, Washington.